back at another airport. We've got the essentials, got our coffee, and we're just waiting to board our flight from Incheon in Korea to Fukuoka in Japan. It's about an hour and 20 minute flight, so it's really close, and that's the main reason why we're just hopping over to Japan before we have to head to Thailand for our next sit. So our house sitting assignment finished this morning, hopped on the airport bus and got here within 30 minutes, so it was really easy. Um, gosh, we've spent maybe um, 24 days, I think it is, been in Korea in total, and uh, we've really enjoyed it. We've um, enjoyed Taiwan and Korea, and we think we, um, we saw quite a bit of it with going to Jeju Island and Busan and then up to Seoul and Incheon. But there is so much more to see. I think we'll be back. Hey, we're yeah. not we're not finished. It'll be good no, to come back. Dark that way. We're not finished with Korea at all. And if we ever get the opportunity to come back, we yeah. certainly will. And put it on the list because there's so much to see. Yeah. And um, easy country to get around, which has been a real bonus as well. So yeah, let's do it. And now on to Japan. Japan. So we've made it to Japan and we have made it to our hotel in Fukuoka uh, it was a bus ride, a subway ride and a walk so not too bad, I have had worse it's quite warm though, quite warm um, managed to pass a few blossom trees on the way so very excited, they're very close by and the blossoms look amazing so prepared to be video bombed with lots of blossom videos coming up we are staying in WBF Hotel. Uh, now a lot of hotels in Japan are classed as business hotels um, and they are notoriously small rooms like most of the reviews for the hotels that we looked at all mentioned small rooms so we kind of knew what to expect but really I know the bed is pushed up to the wall Really, this, this isn't the smallest room we've been in, by any means. So we've got a little desk, we've got a little coffee machine thing there with pods. Um, these are the packs. That's the door out, so I'm not sure how we're going to get out. So, yeah, got a bit of a TV on the wall. I, I was expecting a lot worse. Bathroom's just around the corner. Um, so this is costing us... $152 New Zealand for two nights, that's without breakfast. Breakfasts are quite expensive um, to have included, so we um, opted not to have breakfast here at the hotel. We usually just go to a convenience store like a 7-Eleven and get something to, to nibble on. Um, so we're going to go out and about and explore the area around us. The location looks quite good, quite a, quite a bit of stuff around us, so yeah. Let's go and see what, what it's all about. We hadn't actually heard of Fukuoka before, uh, let alone even trying to say that word. So it wasn't until we started doing our investigations getting from Seoul to Japan that we actually found out that Fukuoka is closer to Seoul um, than what um, you are from Fukuoka to Tokyo so it was just a short one hour 20 trip which means that it was cheap. Fukuoka is, the, is Japan's 10th largest city and it sits in the island of Kyushu and it isn't really on the tourist map that's why we thought that just two nights here would be enough and it turned out to be a good decision. So of course the cherry blossoms were another big um, attraction for us to Japan and it turned out that this is the ideal time to be travelling to Japan. I also didn't realise just how time sensitive the blossoms are in Japan. It can be determined on climate um, and whether it is warm enough for the blossoms to be out. It's warmer than normal for this time of the year for Japan so they are blossoming earlier but we have also already noticed that a lot of the blossoms are starting to turn into leaves so if you're going to be even um, a few days later um, in Fukuoka I think that you may have missed it. 
So the blossom season starts in the south of Japan and slowly works its way north and um, hopefully there will still be some blossoms around the further north we travel in Japan. It didn't take us long. <clears throat> We've been in Japan for three hours. Yeah, three hours. Three hours. Would you like to come to the shop so we can see the cherries as well? <laughs> Saki me. Yeah. So it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Sunday. Everyone's out under the blossoms. It's all pretty cool. Um, there's a sake bar. Oh, we'll get a sake. Sake. We're using New Zealand to get like a little <laughs> cup full. Yeah, this, this is our cup full of sake. Yeah, and it's like getting a beer. <laughs> This is the small one, and it was 500 yen each. for each yeah. for one of those, and it's traditional Japanese sake. So we are now sipping sake underneath the cherry yeah. blossom tree in the yeah. park in Japan. In Japan, yep. In Fukuoka, Fukuoka. Yeah, yeah. Try saying that Close. after the sake. <laughs> <laughs> It's the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Scott, can you describe what we're having? <laughs> I've got no freaking idea. I think it's barbecue. <laughs> the only reason is because she started the barbecue. <laughs> And we've got some ribs or something. We've got ribs and pork and some, and some sake. And some veggies. And sake. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Oh. Pork. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You can do all the commentary on this one, this is your day. Well, I can't tell you too much, then I'm just now it's a brewery tour. And we're booked in, and we get the English headphones in there, and we get to do a couple of points. So Asahi. Asahi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> An oasis in a desert up looms the Asahi Brewery. Oh, what do you think, Scotty? Oh, they know we have to have done it. And it's been beer tasting. <laughs> okay, we've arrived at the Asahi Brewery, ready for our brewery tour. Okay. Now, there's no videos or um, audio recording allowed, so it's going to be still photos only, which is okay. We've got beer tasting afterwards, which is limited to three each. So that I should get there five, and Linda will probably have one, which is really good. It's because I've got a sake headache from yesterday. I'm out of training. This big, huge glass of sake went straight to my head. Anyway, <laughs> um, we've got our audio guide to translate it into English, because I think we're the only English speaking on the tour, but all good to go. Yeah, but it's one tour you do have to book the day before, get the range to have the English speaking yeah. um, guide you get given. Yeah, and it's free. Free! Free tour completed. Yeah, Cheers! Mm. It's cold. <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> Thank you.
a bit of fine dining tonight, Scotty. Yes. Fine dining the beside the river. And some ramen. And we are having some Hakado ramen. And we just need to wait. That's the one that we're going to be eating at. There's quite a variety of them to choose from. These are the famous food stalls. Yado, I think. Yado, which stands for open air. Food stalls beside the river. Very popular.